get down here. Arthur's at school. He's licked my walkie-talkie. Oh, no, 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 no. I've just cleared it away. It's here. Well, you've no right. Oh, Dad, 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 we all miss Edna. I'm sorry, Sandy. I wasn't thinking. Uh, not that the old girl's had to talk to anyway. Edna's six foot tall. What? The picture arrived, the one we had enlarged. What? She's a giant. She'd hate that. Exactly. Uh, well, we uh, use this for the uh, order of service. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> you better go and suit up. You'll be late for a funeral. I can't come. I said I'd lead the service. And I'm grateful, but I'm just not up to going. You have to. It's bad enough Lily's gone off on some day trip with Peter and Eve. To celebrate Edna's life. Then why not show up at a funeral? Because they don't believe in her God, so they can't sit in the church, Edna's refuge, and give her over to the God she held dear when they... When I have no faith in him, it'd be hypocritical, an insult. You're just angry and grieving. I'm out of hope, and I can't pray for help because there's no-one for me to pray to. She'd still want you there. Not like this. It'd feel... ugly. Edna loved you. She even had you organise her funeral to not show up for her. That's ugly, Ashley. <laughs>